Hi right, guys, here's another video. Now, as you've seen in previous videos, I've shown you how to do a tank connector for your pond. Um, obviously, that's what one looks like. You attach that to your liner, um, and then you can connect pipes to uh, the connector on the back as well as the front um, for connecting pipes and um, fittings and that sort of thing. Um, and it should be completely watertight. It's got silicon on it and it's really solid. The way you put these together, quite simply put, is you put um, silicon on the, the, the base plate on the back, then you put your liner on top of the silicon, and then you put your plate on top. Some people will put silicon on top of the liner and then put the cover plate on top. It depends on, you know, which you're more comfortable with. Uh, most, most professionals don't tend to put silicon on the top of the liner but there are some that do. Um, but we've constructed this um, using um, a standard method of silicon on the back plate. As you can see, that's the back plate there. Um, silicon on that, then the liner on top, and then the top plate on top, screwed in the four screws, and that gives you a solid seal. However, I'm, I'm curious to see how strong is this in terms of offering a seal and I, I thought it'd be interesting to try and deconstruct it and see if it's strong so what I'm going to start doing is unscrewing these screws and when I've got the screws off um, we'll have a look okay so I've got the screws out um, I'll just take one of them out so you can have a look don't know if you'll be able to see that in the video um, but partly on the screw you can see there's a little bit of silicon on there that would give you your seal. So let's just take the screws off. All four screws. So there you go, got the screws off. Um, <clears throat> let's just have a look and see, is there, is there a strong seal on there? C can I pull that, that off? Bloody hell, that's strong. This is going to be a, a long job. Let's see if I can do that so you can see, guys. Jesus Christ. I can't pull that off. I tell you what, let's get a screwdriver. Bloody hell, that's tight. You know, I'm, I'm trying to pull it off. That just shows you how strong of a seal you've got. So, any of you that guys who are concerned for me a little bit by the tank connector that didn't screw in properly, providing we've got a strong seal like that, that is not coming off. Bloody hell, that is tough. So, let's try and wedge that off, okay? Right, got a screwdriver. Flathead screwdriver on there. Let's see if we can get under there and wedge it off. Right, that came off eventually, but yeah. So I just want to show under underneath the base plate. I haven't put any silicon on top. Um, other people may have, may do that, but even so, some silicon has has got through a little bit, not by much though. Um, and that's on there really solidly. So we've taken out the screws. We're taking out the uh, base plate and we're left with just the liner with no silicon on, on the top there and obviously we've got silicon on the underneath part there um, on the base plate where it's got obviously a space for it. Right, where were we when, before my battery decided to die? Um, as I was talking about um, we've got silicon on the base plate underneath where you put your pipe in um, but I didn't put, elect to put any on the top you can do both if you want um, some professionals just want to save the silicon and think you don't need to put silicon on, on the top and put your base plate on the top the base plate again it looks like that on there obviously you've got your screws um, um, people want to be more secure about having a strong seal will put silicon on the top. Um, it's, it's completely personal preference really. I've seen people in America that don't do that 
and I've seen UK people that do do it so it's up it depends on the individual I suppose so we're deconstructing this uh, flange tank connector um, it's a 1.5 inch um, variant with four screws um, and, and I just want to see how how tough is it you know is it strong and now we're getting a very strong seal so let's see if we can pull it off right, it's coming off but it is giving a good seal um, and there you go that's how you deconstruct a tank connector I just wanted to show you that um, but essentially when when it had the screws on um, it was almost impossible to pry off um, so yeah I'd say it gives you a good seal and it is in incredibly strong um, so I hope you found this video a bit informative and helpful uh, just to see how strong these connectors are obviously some people will prefer to use um, some sort of laminated laminated um, fiberglass onto these that gives you an even stronger bond um, but yeah I think these give a good seal just to give you an indication I've got one on the filter box over there it's Sings fine, isn't leaking, no problems with that. Obviously, I've got six in this pond now, um, and hopefully, they will give me a good seal. But only time will tell. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Hope this was a bit informative. I was just curious, really, to see how strong these tank connectors are with the silicon on. Um, the silicon itself on the actual liner is incredibly strong look at that very strong I can't pull it off it, it, it's glued bonded to the liner it's easier to come off the plastic than it is the actual liner itself so I think we can be pretty much happy with the fact we're going to get a really good seal um, even though there is a bit of a, a kink in that screw area there can you see that um, looking on the back of it we've got a complete silicon uh, seal around where the holes would be um, if, I'm sa if, I, if I was to say if there's any weak point it's going to be around the screws than the actual um, silicon on the liner but it's very important to get a good quality marine based silicon um, not something just off the shelf from your hardware store anyway um, hope you found this video informative Remember guys to like and subscribe to the channel if uh, you think videos like this are helpful and I'll see you in another one. But yeah, quite an interesting uh, experiment this was. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.